Oh, guys, thank God that game is over, man. Oh, that has got to be one of the worst matches I feel like I've watched in my entire life. Like, it was just, oh, when is it going to end? Like, you, as DT once said, Dabo De Gea could save the Titanic, but their fucking lowly could have honestly saved the Titanic today. 9.9 .9 rating on Sofa score. I swear only against United goalkeepers get 10 out of 10 ratings, 9.9 .9 out of ratings. I actually felt we, it would be impossible to find the net today. And as shambolic as this sounds, Luke Tom and I scoring that goal felt like a cup final winner. That is what the game had done to me against ammonia. It's like, it sounds like something I was saying that you'd put in coke. Like, it just, it just, just, just like, what? Like, the thing is, we weren't even that bad. You think 1-0 against Ammonia, it wasn't the worst game of the world because we were bad. It was the worst game of the world because it was painful. 34 shots, 78% possession, 7 big chances missed. Rashford missing sitter after sitter after sitter. This is the thing, Rashford had like a 10 out of 10 game, but he couldn't finish anything. So he went from a 10 out of 10 to a 7 out of 10 because he did look quite bright and confident. And I can see a large improvement in Rashford. But the attack was just meh. Like the midfield and the defence did their bit. But the attack today for United was meh. It wasn't good. It wasn't on it. And if we'd have lost today, you couldn't be going Ten Hag out. It wasn't on Ten Hag. It was on the attack. Ten Hag did everything right. The midfield did everything. The defence did everything. The attack, they could not finish the dog shot today. Anthony, worst game in United shirt. Meh. Ronaldo invisible. I forgot he was even in the game. Bruno Fernandes had an absolute stinker again. And the problem with Bruno, and I do like Bruno, but he's not been good the last few games. The problem with Bruno is... We tried Fred in the 10, he was shocking. Donny's injured, he's not seeming to use Ericsson in the 10. Bruno, like Delo, but delo has been good, has no competition. So Bruno will just play stinker after stinker after stinker and continue playing. And I'll be honest, Bruno even looks a bit burnt out. Bruno needed to come off. I would have been trying the Sancho in the 10 experiment personally myself. And that's what I'd be doing. It was interesting when Sancho came on, he went on the left and Rashford went on the right. Rashford's not as efficient off the right. Rashford seemed to drop off as well. I'd say out of the attack, Rashford was good. Rashford was the most sharp. If I'm being honest, we do miss Martial. I feel like the way Martial links up the side and everything, I do think the United were absolutely screaming out for Anthony Martial today. I think we massively missed Anthony Martial today. I think he kind of links up the attack. He makes the attack better. It, you know, it was just the ghost of a performance from the attack. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that we were awful. We were. We could have. We should have won that game 7-0. We absolutely dominated, absolutely controlled. The stats say it. Their goalie was a mad one. We should have won that game 4-0. And if we'd have sat there and Rashford had took two of his chances and Casemiro's brilliant shot had gone in and we won 4-0, I'd be sitting there absolutely positive, absolutely buzzing. 4-0, fantastic. We're going to top the group if we beat Sociedad. We're out of the group now. Now we need to top the group so we don't play one of the teams that drop on. I'd absolutely be sitting here really, really positive and all of that. But because of the manner of the game, the way it dragged on it, it does feel ultimately negative. It feels like, thank God that's over. McTominay with the winner. Brilliant. Let's move on to the next game. That is done. Three points. Job done it. It is one of those games, but I have to talk about Casemiro. What Casemiro adds to that United midfield. He is lovely, lovely. Like, like years of United not having an out-and-out -out CDM and then the occasional good match performance to Casemiro taking hold of that game, taking hold of midfield, dominating possession. Casemiro did everything right. Absolutely controlled the game. The, the front four let him down. Casemiro, absolutely fantastic. The Sandra Martin is honestly clean sheet here in Lindelof. Absolutely brilliant. All the ten long signs, absolutely brilliant. The Sandra Martins, Casemiro, two stand-up players today. David Ter, brilliant. Rashford, exciting. But it just was. Bruno was poor. Really poor. Um, Lindelof was a bit of mare at times, but, you know, he got a clean sheet, couldn't do anything wrong. Like, Ammonia, I generally thought we're going to nick it and win 1-0. And I don't have much to say about the game, to be honest, because it, it just was one of those games. But three points, you, you've got to just say... That is it. The three points out of the group, the win, you know, we it's just annoying because we played a really strong lineup. We probably should be winning that game 4 5 0. And if we'd have taken those shots, we won 4 5 0. I could be sitting there going, whoa, 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 with all this positive energy. Even if it was the exact same performance, if four of those chances went in, it would feel like the performance was 10 times better than it was. And it, it feels like a bad performance. And it wasn't a bad performance. We weren't bad. The attack didn't finish the chance, but we weren't bad. United weren't bad. It was just so meh. It, like, I don't know what to say about Ronaldo. I, I would have liked... I was questionable of 10 of subs, but we won the game. We deserved to win the game. Big up, McTominay. Man of the match, Casemiro. Let me know your man of the match down below. This is such a short match reaction because it's just, as I said, 
one of those games smash the like smash the subscribe we've got a really good live show tomorrow with the united new owners new signings almost been confirmed interesting uh stuff about uh delo as well new goalkeeper situation and more so do subscribe i'm gonna end the video here very short one i'll be back tomorrow see you next time bye